Welcome back to the 2024 Estonian Pro Tour Kurvema event, which is a third stop. You can see those all one perfect signs. And this is how we are standing right now, just before the back nine, before hole 10. It's really exciting, anything can happen. But I believe the first and second place probably kind of getting away from here. This is hole 10, average 2.781 meters par 3. It looks pretty simple, it uh, is not, because the trees actually are really tight everywhere. You have to hit your line perfectly and landing on the green can cause really much trouble if you come really fast, so you have to get the good disc as well. And interesting enough, Maori and Matthias said both, this is the hole they hate the most on this course. Like, it feels like it's impossible for them to get a birdie on this one. You can see some creep issues for Maori. And Matthias right up, three strokes back. Ooh, that overturned so much, but I think it getting full flight but left side it can be so much trouble because you never know where the disc is going to kick and Kerdovit two over for the round so far trying to find his groove and wow this was everybody was actually listening if you can hear a cling but we did not sadly Oh, what a beautiful backhand we see. Oh, what was that? Oh, come on now. That was just mean. The wind killed it. Like, it dropped out of the sky like a stone. Yeah, my dear is still looking for that birdie on this hole. Oh, actually, Maori has a pretty decent look, but it's still way outside of circle. It looks like 16 meters, maybe. Holy moly, it was almost. And it didn't go too long. Just a little bit more longer, it will be rolling down the hill over there. Yes, well done. This is how you get the birdie. That's a lot of steps. This was outside of the circle. Wait, we haven't seen Kerdo yet. Are oh, we going to see him now? And this is where he landed. Perfect shot off the tee. Really good putt and really good birdie. Well done. And pass from the two leaders who actually hate this hole. This is really interesting. Saying that, hole 11. Here we go, 120 meters part 3, really straight, really wooded, average 3.4 over the weekend and as you can see from the picture, choosing your line is a little bit left off the marker and something with the backhand probably overturning and landing at the basket is really, really difficult. Behind the basket, you can see a huge hole, which collects a lot of discs usually. Is it approach shots or putts? So we're going to probably see one or two plays in that hole as well. Oh, that's turning too much. You need to turn it slowly so that in the end it can fade back. Wait, where did this one go? Yeah, you can see, left the hand too early, so he wasn't really happy with the hand grip stuff. Like we said, the weather was amazing, it was really nice and warm, so maybe some grip issues can be happen. As we can see, Maori is using the birdie bag really nicely. Yeah, this is what you want to see, that looks good. Oh no, why, that was looking good. So Matthias probably 
knows the standings. Oh, that was a shank to the right. But I cannot see. He probably seeing it. <laughs> I'm not really happy about it. I love that reaction. <laughs> that shows how seriously actually taking it. So this is where Darmo landed and not an easy spot for sure. Go, 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 go. Got the full flight out of the shot. So probably has a look. And this is where Maori landed. Probably the last tree with the phantom branches and the bullseye hit from that approach. Yeah, sadly. Yeah, you can't get two big putts in a row. And yeah, get the wind, wind into that hole I was talking about. And yeah, Matthias actually didn't go inside the forest. That was really lucky. And he puts it in. Thank you, cause He's thanking the cause for the opportunity. He's using his chance. I think I saw some smile over there. Ooh, nice putt. Really nice comeback. That could have gone really long if you missed that. So our leader is going to play even par for the group, which is not so bad. Not so bad indeed. Hole 12, 106 meters part three, bending to the right all the time. You can't see the basket of the tee box and it's averaging 2.9. And I think we're going to see the green right here, really wooded. So landing the disc perfectly is a priority because if you don't land perfectly, you actually can get the nasty skip. And you can see from the map that if you go long, there's an OB as well, which I didn't realize until now because I never have the issue going long on this kind of holes. Is it turning right? It needs to turn probably a little bit more, but circus edge maybe? Oh, this looks perfect. Jing? No Jing. So we're going to see with Kettle and this probably was really close to the basket. Uh, turn, turn, turn. Just a little bit more. Yeah, it went right side of that tree. That was a aiming point. So interesting what you can do with the lefty backhand here. This is probably going to fade a lot. It's more difficult because it's just a straight. And here we see Vecerdo landed. He went 30 meters long. Didn't reach the OB though, so that's a good thing. And Tom actually has a look as well. I remember him saying it was lucky he didn't go the other side of that tree on the left. Go. Oh, that was looking so good. So Matthias up next. So meaning Maori is even closer. Yeah, he needed that. He can't let Maori run away with it because we have only six holes to go. And Maori doesn't want to let Matthias come too close. So he, he's a greedy guy, he wants all the birdies. Yeah. He's a greedy guy, he is. So, collecting another birdie. That makes seven down for the round. This is already really good. Eight down for us, I believe 1027 rated round. Maori himself was 1025 rated before the round. And here we see actually hole 13. This is Marger, and you can see the standings before this hole. Missing the putt, sadly. He was one stroke behind Maori. So probably this is going to put him a little bit backwards. That's why I was seeing it. Double bogey. Oh no. That puts actually three strokes back from Maori. And this is how the whole 13 looks like. 
If the last hole was slowly bending to the right, then this one is slowly bending to the left. All equal. 108 meters, average 3.0. The green can be tricky because it's a slope. In the previous years, we have been seeing a lot of rollaways because the slope can be tricky indeed. Let's see how our guys are going to handle it. Yeah, you have to flirt with the right side trees and he's really flirting them really nicely. Looks inside the circle. So pressure on Maori. But they can't really see the basket from the tee box. So it's kind of a mystery. So probably not so much pressure though. Ah, this looks good. Nice and flattened out. Kind of copy based of Matthias and Gerdo. Where are you going? Whoa, almost got it. Almost got the ace. But flew past the basket, so that's going to be a long comeback. Where are you going, Mr. Disc? Kind of weird roll. Uh, that's kind of a obstructed putt, so it's probably going to upshot. Here we see where he landed actually. It's about 25 meters from here. But he still wants it. Ah, that was a good attempt though. And this is where Kerto landed 30 meters long again. Go! Ooh, almost. So, Matthias up first again before Maori. So this seems like a kind of trend already. Oh no, this is what I was talking about. This this slope can... Oh, that's so annoying. This is actually more distance than before and now he has to put up the hill as well. That actually adds at least one more meter. Oh, but he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He still takes the par. Really nice save. Slow clapping from the, in the background from somebody. <laughs> and nicely done from Kerdo as well. Uh, we haven't seen Mori yet. Oh, like I said, immediately comes up to the picture. And extends his lead in front of Matthias, who was second place now, remember. So hole 14, par 4, 170 meters, as you can see from the map, a really funny hole. There's a Mando as well, which you can't really see off the deep box, but I think we're going to see it right soon here. You can see the sign on the floor, that's the Mando. You have to go left, there's a really sharp tunnel straight here. Some Sometimes people go from there and the green itself is really open you don't want to go super long because there's trees and stuff and and you just don't want to go too long the road on is ob and there's a lot of mosquitoes obviously and this is the view you can see those mosquitoes really clearly oh, where's this one going Turn around and landed nicely. Some really nicely in the landing zone. You want to take the corner as much as possible, so you have to give the shot the height. That was a little bit narrow, but rolled out really nicely. That's almost made the corner 100%. Gerdo, you can see he has the power. Where did that one go? Somewhere over there. And lefty backhand. And there you go. Ah, also good. Also good, close to Kerdo. So, Maori up first. 
because he likes to be first. Obviously. Eight down for the round right now. About 90 plus meters from here. And this is looking good. That was looking good, but we do. The greens here on this course can have really can be really skippy. Let's take it like this. Uh, and that looks like a mid range. That looks good as well. Ooh, this looks good as well. What's happened? Ooh. That was looking so good, but the fade was so fast. Ooh, that's perfect. This is how you play this kind of. Ooh, really nice skip. Probably was really skipping chain high, but can't really see where it went. So Maori went actually a little bit long, but it doesn't matter to him. Putting is like taking candy up from babies for him. Doesn't mean he likes to do that, but he likes putting, so it's that simple for him. So this is just me being jealous. Which is about the same range. He knows he needed that. He really needed four strokes difference now. He's like tapping range, but and Kerdo getting the birdie. I think he's even for the round now. Nicely done. And will Darmo get the birdie? Nicely done. So three birdies. That was a really good result. Even though Matthias probably wanted that birdie as well because now he's four strokes behind and he needs now Maori to make a mistake. But this is going to happen on hole 15. 130 meters, part three. OB everywhere. Trees in the middle of the fairway as well. So missing those trees is going to be a priority. After missing those trees, there's on the right side of the fairway, left side of this view, there's, you can see a lot of trees. This is a really common collecting place for discs. So we're going to see what the guys are going to do. So there's so many ways how to attack this hole through the middle, through the right and through the left side. This goes over through the middle basically probably had enough height but is it coming back I didn't see it coming back so we don't know so Kerto has already shown he has the power that reminds me of a cartoon character saying I have the power Ooh, wow so I want Kerto if you're watching this so Next time when you almost ace a 130 meters hole, you should shout, I have the power. Oh, yeah, that would be fun. Cool. And Tarma playing it safe. Not joking around like I am. And wow, like we're going to see one roller as well, which is also really common. And this is coming back to the basket. Didn't see. So Tarmo, the furthest away, but going to run it and oh so close so close it was so chilly for me oh 15 meters for Maori so he got caught up on the trees but it's almost been high and almost goes in as well what is happening and that's why those guys on the lead can I think but just to just get one back he does you can see the fist bump but it's one, one back, taking one stroke back. And this is where Kerdo landed, long again. The trees probably helped him not to go really long. The putting actually needs some work, but the driving is over there. Yeah, putting is good for Maori. I don't think Maori has missed a single putt inside of the circle yet. And there's three holes to go, so probably it's not going to happen. I, this is actually, I expect. 
and probably everybody is expecting from him already probably himself too and hole 16 as you can see from the map ob right ob long trees on the right trees on the left trees on the long and trees behind the tee box as well average 3.2 again the green can be super fast but probably anywhere you can land close to the basket is already good enough plays over par so a par on this one is actually good they miss, missed the tree wow that was so lucky so we're going to see where that landed but it didn't hit the trees in the middle of the fairway so it's not 60 meters out so probably around minimum 30 meters close to the basket oh maori has the power really nicely oh i think i saw the this skipping to the left so we're going to see where he landed Oh, nice snap again. Oh, where you going? Where you going? Oh, ah, this is the spot where I remember Matthias made actually good point. It might be actually a good thing you hit the tree 20 meters short of the basket because otherwise you probably go so long that you're actually 15 meters closer now. Yeah, I'm Darmo having issues that's kind of short probably wanted a little bit more you can see his white disc on the right side i think probably if it's in the circle then it's badly in the circle Matthias needed that to get closer to Maori. Because Maori is probably closer now. Nice birdie. You see, good tree from Valkerdo. <laughs> well, comment from Matthias from there. Yes, nicely done. Nicely done. So, this is Maori. It skipped so long, so he has the power too. Ooh, completely missed it. Yeah, well, it's not outside the circle. This is inside the circle, so might is actually not losing any strokes here. Still a baby chance. Oh no! What happened there? And Matthias with the par gets one stroke closer to Maori. So this is two stroke difference now, and two holes to go. And the, the interesting hole 18 still waiting for us. But first we have to play hole 17, 90 meters, par 3, OB again, right side, a little bit to the left, but long as well, the roads and trees everywhere. You have to hit your gap perfectly again. The green can be fast, it can skip everywhere from there because you can see on the picture that there's some roots. So you don't want to hit the roots so that it's going to bounce somewhere you don't want it to bounce and Gerdo has the box so he's one down for the round what the kind of up and down round it has been for him Ooh, where you go go in go in Ooh, he wants that ace he really wants that ace seems like he's running everything since he's not fighting for the win anymore, so he just wants to get that. Oy, we see a lot of dust coming up, so probably a lengthy putt for Matthias. Needed to be much, much closer than this. Oh, where you go? Miss it, 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 miss it. Yes, nicely done. That's probably close to bullseye. <laughs> you see Mari killing the mosquitoes. 
that's a disc of shot routine before you shot oh that's perfect from Maori as well it's, yeah my tea is so far away just putting under the basket not risking it probably this is him conceding oh where you go so basically the same comeback same distance just a little bit up downhill now but it looks like it helped as he makes it so who is next Maori this is where Maori landed so yeah maybe Matthias should have run it we never know we will never know because it's now three stroke difference before the final hole ah this is where Tarmo landed touching the three stops that was perfect And this is hole 18, the beautiful hole 18 over the lake. Averaging 3.0 exactly. The more straight at the basket you go, the longer the carry over the lake has to be. The slope is crazy steep. Actually, it's probably more steep than it looks on this, this angle. Let's see if we can get a different angle. Yeah, you can. from this angle you can see how steep it is. And you just roll away this every single shot. It has to be in your mind. If it's not, then you're probably just brave. So here we can see the guys getting ready. Scores checked. And here we go. The final hole of the final round of Kodemau Estonian Pro Tour event 2024. Yeah, lefty backhand looks good. Good. Where is it going to fade? It's safe. It's a lengthy putt around 15 meters. But when I was spending my time over there, I saw some guys making it from there. So, and we know Tarmo can make it as well. So this has the power. Probably it's long. Yes, it's long. Way too long. Circles edge long. And Matthias, oh, this looks really good. Actually, short. Okay, this is looking really good for one second. And this looks good as well. Go, 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 go. Oh, too high. Looks like it was having the perfect line, though. Yeah, lefty putt on this slope is actually really good because you can see how softly the putter landed. No worries from there. And I think this is like nine meters or something like that. Oh, but he doesn't care inside the circle and he's getting that birdie as well. Like I said, the greedy guy he wants all the birdies for himself. 10 down for the round, 18 down for the tournament. Amazing, just amazing. And Matthias, Ooh. stay, it stayed, that was lucky, Gerdo for the birdie, yes, nicely done, good job, two down for the round, and Matthias, I think he needs to get this to be solo second, if I remember correctly, and he does well done he had some early putting problems and Tarmo finished the round with a nice even and congratulations for my sorry Maori winning with four, four strokes difference the biggest difference this year so far in the tour and thank you for watching this was amazing puddle, paddle, and yeah, you know, like you can see, many, many, very, very well-known players in Estonia, Estonian champions on the list, and of course Maori. Really well done. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Like, subscribe to the old YouTube things. Have a beautiful day. See you next time.
Bye bye bye. Here's the podium with the full length. Teine koht tulemusega miinus 14 on Matjas Villota. Ja jälle tegi kõige seda prügiseks tulemusega miinus 18 Mauri Vilman. Mängime kaameraga, mängime kaameraga. Võid kogu kootta. Esimest. Kivast, jah.